I'd like to uh, publicly thank Fabio Capello for all the work that he's done. Um, he's provided us with two qualifications into major tournaments, the World Cup and now Euro 2012. And I just want to emphasize that all the way through his time with us and yesterday, he's behaved with dignity uh, and honor. He is an honorable person. And I'm you know, able to say that yesterday, not an easy day, um, we concluded matters with a handshake. Any reports of storming out are not true and a complete misrepresentation of fact. Now, I've been in football now for nearly 20 years, and I've got a good understanding of relationships with managers. And I do agree that the manager is the most important person in a football club or an organization like this. But there are moments when the board and the chairman have to step up to the plate and when strong leadership is required. I want to emphasize that Fabio has had 100% support from myself and the organization uh, through his tenure here. I'd, like, I'd now like, just for the sake of clarity, to recap on recent events. We all believed that the John Terry case would be dealt with in March or April. When it was postponed, we were, we were taken by surprise. I think everybody else was taken by surprise. And the board made a very quick and important unanimous decision regarding the captaincy. I informed Fabio on Thursday evening, as soon as I could, once the decision had been made. You understand, with 14 people on the board, there's quite a lot of communication and phone calls necessary. And that communication with Fabio was made before the announcement on Friday morning. Fabio wasn't happy, but he accepted the board's authority on the matter. On Sunday, Fabio conducted an interview with an Italian broadcaster. That caused conjecture and huge public debate and, frankly, produced an unsatisfactory situation. Alex Horn and I met with Fabio yesterday. We had a meeting lasting a little over an hour, and it was a very detailed meeting with a lot of very detailed questions asked by us. We, we um, adjourned the meeting, and an hour later, I met again myself uh, with Fabio in his office. And it was at that time that he offered his resignation, and I, on behalf of the board, agree that this was the right decision for the FA. I want to emphasize that the meetings were professional and amicable. And from my first, from my first coming into the, um, the room at half past two, all matters were concluded within four hours of um, the meeting started. With regard to the future, um, and I think Adrian, I know Adrian will speak about this in a bit more detail in a moment, but I'm very pleased to announce that Stuart Pearce will manage the England team for the Holland match. He has huge experience outside and inside this organization. And of course, he manages the England under 21 team and has been working with Fabio for some time. He knows the players very well. I've got great confidence in Stuart. We will be in good hands. Our priority then will be to appoint a new England manager. This will be handled by the four of us with a total focus on getting the best person in place as soon as we sensibly can.